disclaimer, no investment advice provided. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Guys, how's it going? Swayze is here. Hope everyone is well. It's the 4th of the 5th, 2022. The market's alive. The crypto market's alive. And I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, shout out to uh, to everybody who's uh, been following the charts recently. And shout out to everyone in the Telegram group, Swayze's Charts Telegram. And shout out to all the students and members of Swayze's Charts Discord. And uh, yeah, uh, a lot of winners, guys. Do you know like what a class is a winner, right? I, a class a winner, not only in uh, being able to uh, predict when price goes up, but I also uh, class technical analysis when we predict uh, reversals as well, like with mode and, you know, Boohoo and other charts that sell off that are that, that are being ramped at key levels of resistance. So yeah, loads of charting, uh, loads of winners, and uh, stuff's going really, really well. Uh, I want to have a quick look at a couple of tickers, yeah? This is going to be a super, super short video. Timestamps in the description box of the video. Guys, if you find this video of any use and um, you're not sick of listening to uh, the dulcet uh, northern tones of old Swayzers, give us a like, follow, retweet, share. It really helps the algorithms. Um, a lot of the times with the charts that I post, they're, uh, they're not the most popular because a lot of the times my TA will go, will go against narratives that we find online like in Telegram groups and the LSC, Twitter, you know these narratives of ramping stocks and stuff like that. I mean, I'll take I'll take a look at the charts and I'll give my honest honest appraisal of what the system's telling me. And if that goes against, uh, you know, the flood of ramping that you get, so be it. You know, hey, listen, you know, I wish everyone the best. I hope whatever investments you make, whatever stocks you buy, are all going to go to the moon and you're all going to get really, really rich. I have no dog in the fight. Uh, I have no special interest, no agendas. I chart out thousands of stocks and, you know, and we see how things move, you know what I mean? And uh, we've got a pretty decent track record of accuracy, calling a lot of winners. Let's jump to the charts, guys, right? Let's have a look. At uh, let's start with EOG and then we'll have, then we'll have a quick look at OEX. Okay, this is this was my idea with Europa Oil and Gas. I've covered it many times before. Um, very briefly, this is the daily chart, guys. I see this as the macro ascending channel. Uh, these trend lines are, are, are drawn in a specific way, which gives us levels. Okay, we can see recently with EOG, right? That price reacted to these lower the, these lower levels here, like December last year, and up it went. Price touched like 3.7p or 3.72 pence March of this year, then sold off, reversed. But we keep seeing this trend line idea that I've drawn. Uh, we keep seeing price reacting to it, okay? So price is currently trading at 2.56 pence. The market's alive. It's up currently at the minute 6.67% for the day. Okay, what's the volume? 10.365 million in volume. Pretty decent volume, not bad at all. So this is the bullish breakout channel idea. So the market moves in various different ways. Um, and the market has to create these virtual stru structures for it to move. Has to. Um, I've predicted that this is the bullish breakout channel. And I've just been patiently waiting, just zoom into uh, my idea. And we can see that every time price is encountering this, this lower trend line idea, we're getting some decent setup candles, and we we appear to be getting decent levels, levels of support. So I'm still going to... Uh, I'm gonna. St I'm still gonna stick by my guns with Eog and say I think, I think this is the bullish uh, breakout trendline idea. Okay, I think the market is gonna use this structure uh, to get up and to challenge previous resistance levels. That's what I think. The only thing uh, that's kind of going against the idea is 
I wish the EMAs were a little bit closer together. But let's see how price moves in the coming days and weeks. Price appears currently to be getting on top of the 21, e and, uh, the 21 EMA, uh, which is always a good sign, and uh, the 9 EMA as well, which is a really good EMA that we can use when we're looking at the, da uh, the daily chart, right? So, shout out to, uh, to everyone that's involved with EOG. Hopefully, we're going to see this, because, you know, we can see that we've got like a little triangle. I can draw it in. In fact, let's just draw it in dead quick. If we draw like a little triangle... We appear that we might be having price maybe breaking out of this little triangle and not only trying to break out, because obviously, you know, we've still got a couple of hours of market trading to go. So we need to look at the close. This is not the close. If So ideally, we, we need to see the close. And what we need to see, guys, right, we need to see a really nice bullish candle, ideally solid bar candle, closing on top of this triangle break that's what we uh that's what we really need to see because it's not just an isolation move um this will kind of like i reckon add further confirmation so we're getting a triangle break at this key level on the on the daily charts in relation to this um bullish channel idea you know, listen, at the end of the day, guys, don't follow anything that I say. I could be completely wrong, right? Price may crash all the way down to this lower trend line idea. We we just have to see and wait for the correct setup and uh, do our research, look at the fundamentals and all the rest of it. Okay, so uh, so far, so good. Currently 7.08% up now. Let's see what happens. We've got some beautiful market structure up ahead with EOG that, the, uh, that price may want to fill. Market structure, powerful thing. Right, let's have a quick look at uh, OEX. Because I know that's another popular one. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at OEX. Because I just want to highlight a couple of things with OEX. Uh, I won't be getting into uh, conversations about the placing or anything like that. I'm simply looking at the TA. Okay, so we're looking at OLX. Uh, what is it? OLX LD, whatever that means. What does that mean? Oil XLD, no idea. Anyway, OEX, right? Um, daily chart again. Price is currently trading at 0 0.2060. Price is currently up 5.64%. This is the daily chart. So, a lot of people, right, that don't know how to draw trend lines, okay? Um, <laughs> shout out to people that don't know how to draw trend lines. <laughs> What what they'll do, what they'll typically do is they'll draw a trend line from like say this 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 idea here. They'll look at these candles and they'll draw a trend line, go, oh, that'll work. Okay, but the markets are really tricky and we have to try and decode the markets. So I, I try and look at macro levels, okay. That's why we have such fabulous success with Swayze's charts system and technical analysis, because when you can look at the bigger picture, right, it gives you an overview of what could actually be occurring with how price is going to move right so the touch dominant trend line is the actually the top one and we we draw it in a certain way and uh, there's multiple touches uh, with this trend line idea here the top one a lot more than the bottom so let's just count them yeah one two three four five uh, six seven the seven touches there and then we've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the 12 touches. So on a macro chart, on a daily chart, in my opinion, right, when you've got 12 touches, it's a bit of a random place to, to draw a, a trend line. But the trained eye, guys, the trained eye, you got, we've got a compelling trend line idea for OEX. Okay, so what, what, what we would have done, we can retroactively backtest it, right? So initially, guys, if we just move this lower trend line, initially this is where support was for this trend line idea, yeah? Uh, coming in on the 22nd of December 2020 before the major up move. So then, and then like a lot of tickers and stocks, yeah, we've had this uh, asymmetrical descending triangle sort of affair, big sell-offs. Uh, Burr Market 2021. We know the score, guys. You don't need me to keep going on about this. But anyway, the point is, right, initially, the lower... Because the touch-dominant trend line was at the top. 
So the lower trend line now here, and then we can see, uh, just to zoom in here, guys, right? We can see, let me get rid of this triangle. We can see that price broke out of the support on, let's have a quick look, with this candle here on the 14th of December, 2021. Price broke out, but can we see the buyers came back in? The buyers came back in. So what that does with my system of TA, it now enables me and gives me permission that I'm, an, I'm allowed to then move the lower trend line to this swing law here that was created on the 14th of December, 2021. Then what we do is we can press the action a little bit, then we can read it. Okay, so we can press the action and we can see price came down, huge sell-off from this massive asymmetrical descending uh, triangle. But the markets are really, really clever, right? Because even when the markets are selling off, they're already creating the next future swing move up. They're already creating the next uh, virtual market structure for price to be able to move, even when it's selling. It's crazy. It's like it's it's selling off, but it's still creating an uptrend. It's the way the markets move. I don't know why, guys. I just decode the language of the charts. So let's just zoom in and let's just have a quick look. Right, interesting, interesting stuff going on with OEX, right? So I, I've got this as a macro support level. Okay, yes, there could be a head and shoulders reversal pattern. There could be. There's also a cup and handle continuation patterns. Sometimes a cup and handle continuation pattern starts off looking like a head and shoulders reversal, but then uh, the buyers come in and defeat the key level. So a key the key level with this one, guys, moving forward, right? What we really need to see with OEX, in my humble opinion, right? We need to see price close over with conviction, right? At, let's have a quick look, at 0.2552. So we need to see the buyers come in, carry on gaining this momentum, gaining uh, the support at these key levels, Price is testing the drop-off. Do you see that at the minute? You see the way that the markets move? Price is currently testing this break, uh, this drop-off level here. We have this pr price broke down uh, on the... Um, let's have a quick look. On the 13th of April, 2022, last month. You see price is currently testing that level? Because that, that drop-off level there now becomes a level of resistance. It's how it works. And if price can close over it, it'll become a level of support. I don't know why I'm talking so strange. I apologize. But that's how it works. It's it's, it's just, I, I love this stuff. It's absolutely fascinating. Beats working for a living. Anyway, back to my earlier point, right? So I believe that, I honestly believe, looking at the TA at the minute with the way that the candles are forming at this level right i believe that this is support for oex i believe we are in a macro ascending bullish uptrend channel okay potential head and shoulders forming but it's also a cup and handle continuation pattern so it's really hard to decode it at the minute i mean look at this i mean guys look at this here right this is how you read the charts right try and look at all the evidence look at the size of this cup and handle continuation pattern here right handle cup Huge, absolutely huge. And do you see that the way that price uh, forming this continuation pattern, this bullish continuation pattern, look at the way that price just consolidated along this key level. Nothing's coincidental, guys. So we need price to effectively, at some point soon, we need price to uh, to close over on the daily chart 0.2544. That'll defeat the potential left shoulder. See, this could be the left shoulder, right? This could be the head. Okay, could be, could be. But do you see it's also multiple continuation patterns? Cup and handle, another uh, cup and handle. Okay, but just keep an eye on this level here. Okay, we will soon find out with OEX who is in control. I think it's bullish. Okay, um... Personally, look at the convergence, right, of the EMAs. Do you see the way that price came up and then straight back down off the gap? But look at the convergence of, of what we're getting now. 
And we're getting some crossover activity with these EMAs as well. I don't know if that's the definition of a golden cross. I'm not going to say that because I'm not 100% sure. But I always get a little bit excited when I start seeing multiple EMAs beginning to converge under price and beginning to and beginning to start crossing over and uh, you know with each other. Because looking at the big picture, guys, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, what? You know, yes, we're gonna, I'm not saying that price is going to shoot up to the moon straight away. I'm looking at the larger macro market structure. But if this is a bullish uptrend with OEX, the top of the channel moving forward, moving forward is 0.5504p a share. What's that? Half a p. Moving forward. And we're currently, a, so that's the top of the channel. That's the top of the market structure. Um, obviously, we've got key levels of resistance, as usual. Uh, but look at this interesting thing here. This always interests me, right? Just before I finish off on OEX. And if you find this information useful, guys, please give us a comment, like, share, retweet, and uh, join our Telegram group. I'll put links for Swayze's Charts Telegram in the description box of the video. Give us a like, follow, retweet. Really appreciate really appreciate it for the algorithms. Okay, um... Because a lot of the times, guys, you know, uh, the big boys won't retweet my stuff because kind of goes against sometimes uh, narratives. Let's just say that. So the swing high of uh, of this candle that was created, 6th of April 2021, right, when price touched 0 0.5148, whatever it was, look at the way it intersects with the top of the trend line of the projected macro bullish uptrend. Interesting stuff. Within this macro ascending bullish channel idea, we've got a bit of a range in market state, but we can see when price hits these levels, we see, we're seeming to get uh, an interaction with, with price. So these are the key levels to keep an eye on. We need to keep an eye on the left shoulder, this potential head and shoulders. We need to see price interact now uh, with with these mixture of the emails 921 5100 200 volume 335 million a lot of volume let's see what happens guys all right so i'm going to get off get this uploaded because you know it's, it's gone two in the afternoon so i don't hopefully it's not too late to get this video up but i'm going to get them up because there are a couple of uh, popular tickers and i wanted to um i wanted to uh you know Another key level, guys, moving forward, that price has got to get over is like 0 0.3010, a real sticky resistance. But anyway, I'll, I'll get off, stop going on like a broken record. Thanks for all the support, guys. Uh, Swayze's charts continues to grow. Uh, we're charting addicts, okay? Um, calling a lot of movers and shakers in the markets. Swayze's charts, Discord. I'm going to run a discount uh, for people that want to come and join Swayze's Charts Discord soon, where you can learn our uh, unique system of technical analysis. I mean, some of our students, shout out to Map, uh, 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 Mamps, 126% with Amigo uh, yesterday. Shout out to Tony as well, who's killing it. Shout out to Joe. Shout out to Burr Bills, uh, who've all had winners, some fantastic winners this week, and many, or, many other members of Swayze's Charts Discord. Um, I don't think anyone posts as many charts in the as, uh, as we do in the alternative investment market. I really don't. We don't always get it right, but you don't need a 100% track record to be a successful, uh, you know, if you've got a methodical, if you adhere to methodical systems. BP was a cracking little winner as well. Um, shout out to BP. All right, guys, I'm going to get off and I will see all you wonderful people knocking around online. Thank you very much.